हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आरबी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ वी एस सी एंड ए एच स्कॉच जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो टूडे वी हैव केस ऑफ कुली फ्रैक्चर दैट इज द फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द डिस्टल वन थर्ड ऑफ द रेडियस एंड अल्ला सो दिस एनिमल फेल डाउन एस्टडे फ्रॉम द हाइट एंड गॉट फ्रैक्चर हेयर सो इफ यू सी हेयर सो दिस इज द कार्पल ज्वाइंट दिस वन इज द एल्बो सो दिस इज द रेडियस अल्ला and you could see hair swelling and there is a movement is also so upon radiography uh, we come to know that the fracture is at the distal one third of the radius ulna with overriding so in case of the distal one third fracture it is very difficult to reduce unless and until you sedate the patient or put in the general anesthesia so you could see here we have given the general anesthesia to this patient so that we could reduce in the anatomical position this one is the normal limb and you could see there is a no external wound means this is a closed fracture in case of closed fracture so we go for the external cooptation so here i am going to apply the synthetic cast so my last video in which i applied the plaster of paris cast with spin bandage in case of the fracture in calf so if you want to see that video so you can go to see that video so i have given the link in the description box so you go and click and see the video so for the synthetic cast or for any external cooptation in case of the radius ulna for the traction we apply the tape here and one counter traction underneath the this axilla so here we have applied the tincture benzoin so it helps in the strong adhesion of the this adhesive tape so this is the one day old fracture and there uh, is in case of the fresh fracture so reduction by the external method can be done otherwise in the old case it is very difficult to reduce i have applied the tape so one assistant will pull like this and then one bandage under the axilla so this one is for the traction and this is the counter traction now next step we will try to pull like this although already for the 15 minute we just applied the traction by pulling the this limb over the hook of the dip set stand so now further we pull it is very difficult to reduce 100% in case of the cooling fracture only the method by this so by movement i think almost reduce is no swelling here no sharp end at the medial aspect but even if it is partially reduce then healing would occur so we have reduced the, this fracture fragment that is the closed reduction so we have reduced this fracture by closed method and now we going to apply the cortomaxazole powder and then simple bandaging which is acts as a stockinet because we don't have the stockinet so instead of a stockinet we apply the cotton bandage if possible uh, we apply the boric acid or this is the cortomaxazole candied dusting powder and then start the bandaging from the distal end following the rule of 50 that is the every proceeding rolling cover the 50% of the previous rolling so this is the elbow joint so we just extend above the elbow joint and principal principal is we should immobilize the one joint above and one joint below the fracture so here the fracture is very close to the carpal joint so here i am going to apply the synthetic cast that is the fiber cast so there is no need to apply the splint because fiberglass itself provide the sufficient strength now next step we go for the 
application of cotton so this is the cotton roll so again this roll we follow the rule of 50 This is the Nova cast fiberglass. You could see here Nova cast casting tape, Nova cast fiber glass cast. So this is a five inch. Normally, in case of the dog, we apply with the two inch. And due to the unavailability, we are going to apply this. So and we should wear the gloves. Otherwise, what happen? You could see so this will adhere over the skin strongly. So in case of the, this fiberglass, the surgeon or applicant must wear the gloves so now from here onward we again start from the distal with the gentle pressure we should not apply the too much pressure so this is how we again follow the rule of 50 So this one is sufficient I think. and we should not cover the this paw whenever we go for the cast application we should not cover the this paw so here since fracture at the fracture side we wrap more layer as compared to the either end leave it leave it leave it from here So this is how so now you could see this one is the right forelimb, this one is normal and we have just applied the fiberglass cast or synthetic cast. So this is called cast because the shape of the this uh, fiber glass is take the shape of the bone so by this there is a immobilization of the carpal joint as well as the elbow joint now we leave as such for the five minute and within five minute it become very hard so this is the advantage because in the fiber glass because here there is no need of the putting the splint but sometime in case of the large animals, some surgeon they apply the splint because if the animal is very heavy, in that case you can apply. But in case of a small animal, there is no need. So once it dry, so I will de-adhere from the hair and reverse like this and put like this hair and apply the one adhesive tape. Now we can release this one and then we go for the post operative x ray. So, this fiber cast now you could see this is a completely dry. If I strike with the you now, see the this is the strength. So, this is the advantage of this fiber cast application. The only difference that this is a costly as compared to the 
flusher of Perry's cast. So now we go for the radiograph and let's see the how much difference with the pre-operative radiograph means before application and after application we compare whether the reduction is 100% or it is slightly reduced compared to the fracture. I have already told you that reduction of the distal end of the radiation of fracture is difficult. So the adjective tape which we applied at the distal end for the traction now we de-adhered. We just separated, separated and then now we twist like this and then just paste over the caudal and this is the cranial one over the anterior or dorsal surface. So in the four limb just below the carpal joint this one is called as the dorsal surface and this one is the palmar. And similarly here so we remove the extra cotton and then we put like this. So Then we apply one here. This tape is not for the pressure over to this cast because cast is already very effective. It is just to secure the these two strip. this one. So now this is okay. So in this way we have uh, finished the application of the synthetic cast or fiberglass for the management of the fracture of distal end of the radius and ulna that is called fracture. So thank you very much for watching uh, this uh, video and if you are new to the channel so kindly subscribe the channel.